Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on solving an equation with brackets and requiring simplification with the variable on one side. So we've got this equation here, 26 is equal to 1 plus 3 brackets 4x minus 10 and we want to find the value of x. We want to solve for x. Now basically if you have brackets in the equation, generally the best strategy is to expand those brackets. So if I expand the brackets, we've got 26 is equal to 1 plus. And remember, to expand brackets, you times the thing in front of the brackets by each of the things inside the bracket. So we do the 3 times the 4x. 3 times 4 is 12, so it's 12x. And then we do 3 times negative 10, which is minus 30. So now we've got a slightly simpler equation which doesn't have brackets in it. And it also says that we probably require simplification. So always tidy up your equation where you can by collecting like terms. Now on the left hand side we've just got 26, nothing we can do there. But can you see on the right hand side, well we've got an x term, the 12x, which we'll just leave, leave it be. But we've got two constant terms. Constant terms are terms which don't have an x or a variable in it. So we've got 1 minus 30. 1 minus 30. And 1 minus 30 is negative 29. So we could put the 12x first if we want, and then we've got minus 29. You could have also written minus 29 plus 12x, and that would have been absolutely fine. Now we've got x only on one side of the equation. We want to get that x on its own in order to solve the equation. And remember, the way we do that is to think what's happening to x and to undo the last thing that happened to x. So x is being multiplied by 12, and then we subtracted 29 from it. The last thing we did to x was subtract 29, so we do the opposite to undo it. The opposite of subtracting 29 is adding 29. And we do that to both sides of the equation. 26 plus 29 is 55. And then if we add 29 on the right-hand side of the equation, it just gets rid of the minus 29, just leaving the 12x. And then finally, what was the last thing done to x? Well, x has been multiplied by 12. 12x means 12 times x. So we get rid of the times by 12 by doing the opposite, which is dividing by 12. So on the left-hand side, we've got 55 divided by 12, 55 over 12. And on the right-hand side of the equation, the divide by 12 gets rid of the times by 12, so we're just left with x. And that is the final answer x is equal to 55 over 12.